hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is a very um unusual start of a video because i literally just got home from the gym and everyone's been asking me to do a hair tutorial and i have been saving my hair so then i can today when i have time i can film a video so that's why i'm wearing a cap because it is not cute underneath so <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna do but First, I'm gonna go take a shower. So usually what I would do, I don't have time now because I just um, had an appointment and it was late. But what I would do is I would oil my hair and I'll actually show you what oil I use. But I would oil my hair and I would leave it in there for at least like half an hour to an hour and then that could like really soak in. And I would put it in sections on my hair and then like massage it in. And yeah i'm gonna go take a shower wash my hair and then i'll show you guys everything so i thought i would show you guys the products that i'm using to do my hair as well so this is the oil that i use on my scalp i didn't use this today because i was in a rush but i what i do is i take off the cap and i just go through the sections of my scalp and i really really massage it because the more um, you massage it and you apply a little bit of pressure and just like I kind of use my nails as well to do it The more you're creating blood flow around the scalp. So The more you massage it. That's the key part So some people apply oil, but they forget the massaging part Make sure you do that because the blood flow is what creates that, you know, the new hair growth So you kind of need to be you don't need to be hard like to the point that it's hurting But I just make sure that I give it apply a little bit of pressure. You can really feel I've tried so many shampoos, or like so many to the point where I just wanted to find a nice one and I always go back to the head and shoulders one, like I've just used this for years. Now this is the only shampoo that doesn't make my hair really oily. Any other shampoo I've tried, they made it really oily, especially the fragrance ones, I just, I they just didn't really work for me. And this one, I get the one with like no, I know they do like flavors and whatever, but I literally just get the simple one because I feel like it just makes my hair nice and clean. If I do the oiling on my scalp, I sometimes have to wash my hair three times to make sure that it's not oily. Because sometimes people don't wash it enough and then you leave that like oil on your hair and then that's why you can't style it as easily because your hair is still oily, it's full of that oil. So make sure you always double cleanse always double wash my hair I make sure that I put like kind of a pea size okay maybe more than a pea size like kind of that size of shampoo in my palm I rub it into my palm and then I work it into my um, hair I also wash the ends of my hair my scalp everywhere and when I'm shampooing I really massage it and just kind of scratch my scalp with my nails so then you kind of get rid of all the the product, the everything that has been on your scalp, all the oils and everything, you kind of scratch it off and then that'll just make your hair fresh and new. So double, double wash always and then if I put oil on my scalp then I wash it three times. <laughs> and then I don't actually use a conditioner, I use this Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner and what I do is I apply this on the ends, so from like here to the ends of my hair, so about this much. And then I really more like I just really soak it in there. So what I do is I put it on my hands again, rub it into my hand, and then just kind of massage it into my uh, hair because that way it just really coats it. And then I always have like a hair clip with me, and I just clip it up. And then I'll do the rest of my body. So whatever it is, I'll probably shave or whatever. I leave it in there because the more you leave it, the better. So I leave it in there, let it soak, and then I'll wash it off. But this one, this one is really nice. I do like this one. I kind of hate the smell, but it's just because I'm so sensitive to smells. I'm, <laughs> I'm very picky with smells. And this one, I can kind of, it kind of irritates me, but I like the way it makes my hair feel. So I'm just going to use it up. And I also hate wasting products, so I'm stuck with it. But probably next time I'll buy something different. So that's everything that I do. And then this is my hair now. I've been trying to let it air dry a little, but we're not going to let it air dry because my hair is so frizzy if it let if I let it air dry. And also the feeling of like wet hair touching my skin, it just gives an absolute ick. So I, can, I cannot do it. Some of my friends let their air, uh, air dry. I just can't do it. It makes me feel sick. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go style my hair and I'll show you how I do it. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use this Schwarzkopf um, heat protecting spray. I found that using heat protecting spray is just makes your hair a little bit, you know, protected. Um, so I find this a crucial step that I do not skip. And this one, this one is quite nice. I do like this one. I've used quite a fair few, and some of them I didn't like, some of them I did like. And this one kind of stuck with it. I really like this one, and it's not too expensive. And sometimes I will use like a foam. <clears throat> like this one, the wow. But today, I'm just not gonna go ahead with it because I just don't need the volume right now. But usually, I would, I would use this. Instead, I'm actually gonna go ahead with this one. This is the Color Wow Dream Coat, and I'm pretty sure this one is meant to be. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be like um, a heat protector as well. But I'm just gonna be safe and spray my hair with this first. And then spray my hair with the color well. Also, I've naturally got very curly hair, which I never really realized until I let it air dry. But if I do let it air dry, it just looks so frizzy. I look like a lion, so there is no way I can let it air dry. But yeah, it is quite cute. wish I could make it look like the way it looks now, like with those curls, but I feel like when I try and style it, it just doesn't look the same, so I just always do my own thing. And then I'm gonna use this one. Now I'm kind of like, oh my god, maybe I should leave it like this, so curly, but no, we're gonna do the curls. We're gonna do my curls. Oh my god, I totally forgot I need to put in a washing. I need to put in a washing of clothes. But <laughs> instead, I'm going to start drying my hair now. This one is the Panasonic hair dryer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it fully. So I'm going to fully dry my hair until it's crisp. And then I'm going to be using... I'm just going to be using my hairbrush to brush my hair out. Because you do not want to be drying it into knots. So what I usually do, I dry it a little bit so then it's not, because sometimes when you brush it when it's wet it's just really bad for your hair and it just breaks it instantly. So I'm just going to dry it a little bit and then brush it and then dry it fully. And then now I'm just gonna brush through it. You can already see the volume in my hair that's coming. It's it's coming, it's on the way. And then when you're brushing it, just be careful so you're not like, you're not breaking it. Be gentle with it. Cause I used to do that. I would literally just be like, rip it and then, no. It'll be so bad for your hair, do not do it. So I'm just going to brush through it and then finish drying it and I'll get back to you guys. So I have now So I have now fully dried my hair. I think it actually looks so shiny from the color wow. And what I've done is I used my round brush to twirl my fringe and I also used it to go around the top part and just kind of gone like this and blow dry onto it so I'm getting rid of all the knots and it just dries it to be kind of straight at the top and it just gives it that volume I feel like if I don't do that it just looks frizzy whereas this it gives it that like smooth effect and then I just kind of go through it and just like blow dry it like that into the direction and the other side and then this the front bits I do it to the front and then switch it and do it to the back and then that will give it just that little bit of curtain look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a hair clip. Where did I? I've got my little hair clip here. And I'm going to do sections. So what we're going to do in this hairstyle is we're going to do little sections and just curl the ends of the hair. So I'm going to tie it up into smaller sections. So I'm going to clip that away. And then I have two of these sections on the side. And these sections, I'm going to make it into... Oh, it's coming out. 
these sections I'm gonna make it into two separate sections so you're gonna but you're gonna brush through it just to make sure that it's all hasn't got any knots or anything and I'm just gonna be using my hair straightener I always use my hair straightener to curl my hair I just feel like it works and it's a great device this one is the Remington um, hair straightener and I'm gonna use it on the setting to uh, 210 so I'm gonna section this chunk of hair into two with my finger and then it's just gonna be it's gonna be easier I tried doing bigger chunks but it just doesn't work the same and you will actually just do you're gonna have to go through it so many more times which give you more work and it'll take longer so doing smaller sections is actually better and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on it bring it down and then halfway throughout then I'm gonna curl it I do it this way because I like when the bottom half is curled if you want the whole thing curled just do it from the roots and then I'm just gonna go through it and what I like to do is I'm gonna go through it one more time but the second time I go through it it's a lot quicker just to make sure it is really set into place and then I use my fingers to twirl it into the position because then it cools down in that position and I'm gonna do the next one I'm just gonna redo that one and then twist honestly the first couple of times you'll do it your arms will ache by the end of it you're welcome to take some little breaks because if you are like me and you have a lot of hair it takes a little bit of a time it takes actually quite a while to be honest it's not too bad I feel like it's not as bad as people think but I did find that in the beginning my hands would like my arms would always get tired I think going to the gym has really helped me with getting upper body strength and not feeling as tired but I will probably feel it today because we have just done upper body this morning and I'm already feeling the ache so I'm just gonna section these two sides um, this side as well into two sections and I'm just gonna repeat the same thing and you just make sure you keep pulling do not ever let it stand on your hair because wherever that is it'll burn it hair is fragile and you do not want to be leaving it on there for more more than a second even like that you want to be leaving it for a very short amount of time because your hair doesn't really need it so what you want to be doing is just having a quick sweep motion like that and then twisting it and going through the section and do not leave the ends out I don't know why there is a trend where you kind of leave the ends dead straight because my mum's a hairdresser and she always taught me that that's a, like a really bad mistake so don't ever do it I think she's like drilled it into me so I never leave the ends I always make sure to go through the whole thing and then it just makes it look so much more prettier and then you've got these little sections what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steal back my hairspray that my flatmate has stolen from me I'm joking but <laughs> I think she left it in her room when she borrowed it let me just grab it quickly I've tried quite a few hairsprays and honestly I feel like this one is quite nice it really does set it into place I do like the Schwarzkopf ones they are quite lovely and yeah I've tried quite a few I don't remember one that's like I've hated so this one smells like candy dye so it's really nice oh I didn't mean to go on my hair there you go so what I just did is I sprayed a light coat on my hair and then this way it will just set into that place without having to do it all at the end and then by that time it drops I find that it stays better if I spray it now and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my nail and just kind of do the next section and then bring it forward so I put my hair back so that I'm not confusing what I've already done and what I haven't done and this way it's just a lot easier and then I'm gonna clip back next section and then I'm gonna start working on this Yeah, let me just put 
I'm gonna do like a speedy version because I don't think you guys want to sit through all of this. So this I'm gonna make it into smaller sections and then go through it each section at a time. So this is the finished look. I have just finished the hair and I've put a light coat of um, hairspray on it. So it looks very shiny from the, the wow product. I think that's the best product to kind of use to kind of make your hair a little bit shinier. What I always recommend to do is to leave it in this curls as long as you can. If you're going out, leave it until last minute so then it settles and cools down in these kind of curls and then you can brush it out. I usually brush it through with my fingers just to kind of loosen the curls. If you now go ahead and brush it out with the brush, forget about it. It will drop in about half an hour. The longer you can leave it, the better it will be. Sometimes I like to leave it quite like loose so the waves aren't perfectly done i will just kind of go around and kind of take it apart a little bit because i feel like when it's a little bit messy it just looks very cute but this is the hairstyle and usually for me this lasts around two to three days i would no i would probably say more three to four days but i do have to top up my fringe i feel like my fringe is the first thing that kind of goes badly if I sleep on it or anything so what I will do is I will just take my round brush and I will just go through my fringe again and then I'll just leave the curls because I feel like they still look really cute once they're dropped because it gives it that like big bouncy effect so so yeah this is the the look I feel like my hair looks so dark at the moment I'm going through phases of like my hair I sometimes dye my hair darker I put like a coloring on it to make it darker but my hair naturally is so, like, it just goes into highlights. Like, the top part is so much darker than the bottom part, especially when it gets sunshine. So I will just have these, like, honey highlights throughout. But I feel like today it looks really nice and dark, which makes me happy. And, yeah, I that is the end of the video. I do want to show you guys the oil I put on. So what I do is I will leave it like this. I will sometimes take a clip. And if I wanted to make sure that it really, really stays in the curls, I will take a clip, like, uh, put my hair like this, flip it, and then just clip it up like this. So then the curls really just settle in a bundle and they really cool down together because that way they'll just last even longer. So I have gone ahead and I've put hairspray on it. So I'm not going to do this now at the moment, but sometimes, especially when it's been two to three days, I will put hair oil on. And this I will just put on the ends. Do not put it towards like the top of your head to your scalp because then that will just block it and it will make it more greasier. So what I'll just do is I will put it here. I'll put a little bit in my hand. I will distribute it and then just kind of crunch it into my hair. This one is the Give Me Hair Serum. And honestly, I really, really like this one. I got it gifted on, I think, my last year's birthday. And it's been really lasting me because you only really need a tiny drop. If you go overboard with hair serums, it will just look really oily, really greasy. It'll make it the hair go really bad. And then you'll just have to wash it really quickly. I usually wash my hair about the four to five day mark. I used to wash it once a week. But because I go to the gym, I wash it a um, little bit more regularly at the moment. So I will wash it around that like four or five day mark. Especially if I just don't like the hairstyle anymore. I'll just wash it. So, But yeah, this is the finished look. I love having my hair like this. 
I have tried to do less heat on it and just try and like you know let it do its natural thing but it just does not work for my hair because it just looks frizzy so this is what I do and if you let it kind of you comb it out I also like the combs that have like the bigger um, bigger sections so like they have the bigger like uh, fork bits because those will kind of not ruin the curls but just separate them but usually I just use my fingers and then that's it I really hope you guys enjoyed this little hair tutorial let me know if there's any other hairstyles that you've seen me do that you would want me to kind of show on video make sure you follow me on my Instagram and TikTok because I I post so much there I post daily so it's quite a fun fun little place to be because I only post here once a week so if you want to see me more regularly then that is the place to see and I will be posting my holiday content as well when I go to Hungary so in a week's time so make sure you check that out and I'll and also subscribe here if you haven't already subscribe here like this video so I come up for you and you can watch more of my more of me and I'll see you guys next time bye